Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. Not such a sunny day today, but I decided to go for a walk and try and clear my head. So I've just come out the house and turned left as I always do. I need to pause the video, we've got a loud van coming, just bear with me. Typical, they always come by just when you don't need them. Okay, so just gonna go see what they've done, if I can make it out down the end of the road where the sea is. It's a bit, uh, bit of a murky day. Be a few puddles, look at that. I'll be very careful to miss those. I don't have <clears throat> any outdoor shoes. So I don't th know if I'm gonna see anything if I go all the way to the bottom because there's two cordons and we've already got ivy looks like it's growing over one of them sorry about this is very uneven road so I'm trying to keep it as still as I possibly can but not succeeding so I'm going to come back in a second and go down that little turning because I can't walk around anymore the road fell into the sea along with the house so this man doesn't like anyone going in his field no parks that there to keep them out and much to his annoyance it doesn't keep out people on foot I think if he could electrify the fence then he would I don't really oops nice view of the car I don't really know why he's got such a thing about it it's just an empty field with a few bushes in it I don't think anybody really fancies stealing his bushes but you know some people very odd. So we had a few dumpers bringing clay to tip over the edge and even it all out. And I don't know how far they've got. Can't see the digger today. There's usually a digger working. Must be having a day off. The tyre tracks don't really stop here. But I can't see that they'd be getting it any other way. That's a close. I don't think they can get down there. But, aha, uh -huh, if we look, let's try and focus. Right where that sign is flapping, you can see they're actually bringing the level of the cliff up a little bit. I'll try and go around and have a look see what they're doing but, ugh, my hair's blowing in my mouth so uh, we'll turn back but the tyre tracks suggest that they turn into this place here but I, as far as I'm aware it's not a through road unless they've been given access through someone's property to work on it but they can see that they've definitely been driving them down there I just thought it was a, a dead end, but maybe not. We'll walk round anyway. It'd be better. So, um, it's going to be a little bit of a boring walk for you. Just houses and stuff. I've got my microphone hidden again with my uh, shirt, so hopefully you can't hear the wind. It's uh, windier today. I'm a bit cool, I've got a jacket on. <laughs> oh, I think I had one on yesterday, actually. The sunshine's gone. There's a few little bits of blue sky in amongst the clouds. But they look a bit gloomy. I don't know. I thought I could hear a tipper truck come in then. But there's no digger, so I doubt it. What I might do is pause it for a little while until we get further round there. Then you haven't got to watch me walking down this bumpy road. I'll pick up again with you when I get to the other end. Okay, so this is the road that leads um, to the other way. This is Surf Crescent. Used to go round, obviously, in a crescent until it partly fell in the sea. So, 
a bit more muddy down here and I guess that's because the tipper trucks have been making the road a little bit dodgy so I'm doing my best to walk on that bit in the middle that's not quite as bad I'll find a bit to walk on so yeah we'll get round hear the wind in the trees thankfully it's actually higher up than um, it's not blowing in my face or anything which is good so yeah I think I the first time I did one of these walks was about a year ago and uh, it was just as muddy and a couple of times I brought Tyler with me not I don't think on the walk with you guys oh this is messy might not be able to get any further um, but he loved jumping in all the puddles children do live oh for puddles right this may be as far as I can go let's just see I don't know I can go in this in the higher tire tracks oh going to have to wash these trainers when I get home let's just hope I don't fall because that would be completely different type of video Ugh. messy oh this possibly wasn't the best idea I've ever had nope <laughs> say not a bit slippy oh let's hope that's the end of the goo my feet now weigh a little bit more than they did when I started so uh, but we've got higher ground so that's good I have to say it's the only way back so I've got to do that again let's hope it doesn't get bad again around the corner because I think it might dip again oh yuck here we go there's some quite nice little houses and some of them are just a little more than shacks and they actually have names like the shack you get the odd one that's kind of pretty like this one but some of them are just basically little shacks it's another world you know around here oh this is promising it's not getting murky I used to enjoy my walk along the sea and then coming in a circle but um, Mother Nature decided to throw half of it down the cliff and that was all she wrote so I think we're getting quite close now because that round dome is a few doors away from the end now never used to be but it is now so hopefully there might be something to see maybe not might just be a whole lot of nothing but I think that hard standing is probably where they've had the digger let's try and find some un gooey place to stand Ooh. definitely need to get some winter welly boots or something so here we go right over that puddle so we've got the sea through the trees it is just a faint really so oh, sorry, should I say a, a small area of woodland before we get to the end so this whoopsie blowing away now <laughs> this is the end of the cliff and the houses that were affected now as far as I'm aware the white van there he was allowed back to his home but it seems a bit odd that we, he would be allowed back considering so can you hear that that wind howling so now obviously they're diggers here and they've been doing it over the edge but they're not they're not here today Sorry, it's the railing that stops it from focusing. But that's all we've got now. Can't really go to the edge and see what they're doing. But 
there's two properties there. They've definitely got cars outside, so they must have been given keys to the gate and have access over there, see? There's a white van and two cars. Because there is one, two, two properties and a garage left over from the one that fell over the cliff. So that's it, basically. Can't really see much, sadly. But hopefully, pretty soon, there'll be something more to, to see and we might even be able to get some access down to the cliffs. I don't think I'll see anything by looking through here. It's just, that is the sea, believe it or not. But no, there is a way down to the beach. I don't know it myself, but I know that there are fishermen that do go down there. But that's the latest. Sorry, the wind is blowing against me now. But that's the latest of um, the work they're doing <laughs> on the cliff. I'm going to have to stop this now and uh, negotiate my way back through the mud and the wind is a bit too strong so I'm talking to you inside my jacket hopefully um, hopefully it's not too bad so I'm going to call that it I just thought I'd show you what they're doing at the end thanks for watching bye for now <laughs> blow off the cliff bye for now <laughs>